Welcome back to Good Day. Now, we've been talking about creepy crawlies all morning, so I figured I would just invite you over to my house. Yes, this is my trampoline where I bounce on every day before work to get my enthusiasm up. Then I play a round of putt-putt. I am just kidding. This is someone else's house, but... Luckily, this is someone else's house because if we were talking about the creepy crawlies at my own house, I don't think I would sleep at night. Sure. So, Zach, walk us through. Now, this is this place is beautiful. To me, I don't see anything wrong. But to the untrained eye, you see something else, right? Sure, yeah. So there's definitely conditions here that can contribute to uh, some different pest pressures. Um, we got a lot of vegetation. Looks great, but that could also be a resting site for mosquitoes, particularly during the summer, and they're looking for somewhere just to land and hang out in the shade. Mm. Um, heavy vegetation also means har uh, harborage areas as well. So, you know, you could have rodents that hide underneath there, sleep underneath their nest. Uh, all sorts of different crawling insects. Um, also, the mulch. Mulch is great. It looks nice, but you want to be really selective with the type of mulch that you have. Cedar chip is, uh, has a natural reoccurring um, pesticide in it, so it, oh. it's going to help deter it as well. Um, Cedar chip. All right. A Got it. To have. Um, but Take note get, of that, folks. A lot of wood chips around the house. You know, that's going to attract, again, harborage sites for pests, even termites. Uh, so things like that you want to be very careful about with uh, your mulch. We also got a grill over here. This is a pretty common food source and shelter source for uh, various pests, including rodents, right? Rodents only need about a, a dime to a quarter size hole to get in. So you open this up, you see a little bit of food debris, a little bit of grease and stuff like that. So they're gonna just find any little small entry point that they can get up into, get in there, they're gonna have food, they're gonna have shelter. So you wanna be sure to be cleaning out your grill regularly, hopefully storing it away out uh, from, not keeping from uh, outside the home, but inside the home or like in a shed or something like that to help uh, minimize that as well. So. Got it. Our photographer Mark was saying, you found a rat in your grill one time? Yeah, you know, we, we're trying to minimize that at all costs. We don't want our burgers starting to taste like rat meat, Please, right? <laughs> he enjoys the rat meat, right? Yeah. And then so tell us, when it comes to the rest of this backyard and things that can, people can do, preventative things that people can do, so what, yeah, what do you advise? Right here, this tree's hanging over the roof line, pretty close, right? Rats will often climb up the trees or even insects. They crawl across, jump up on the roof lines, hop down your T-vents, your plumbing vents. You got it right over the fence line here too. So I was popping back to that dog run earlier and I saw some more rodent droppings across the fence lines. Um, you got dog droppings in the dog run there too. That can also serve as a, a source of protein for uh, rodents, attract uh, different types of insects, flies. They're attracted to decay and organic matter. They'll often uh, you know, be attracted to your dog feces, so you wanna make sure you're cleaning that up. Um, you know, Dog dishes that are holding water, again, if that goes stagnant, that can attract uh, mosquitoes, uh, provide a water source. So just different things around the home that you would never think about that are actually contributing to your, your pest issues, so. Well, Zach, I'm so glad that you do this job and not people like me because I can call you for help if I'm in a in a bind, right? So Home Shield, you guys come out, make sure that people uh, can clear out any unwanted visitors from their house, of right? Of course, yeah. We'll come around the house. We'll give you our recommendations. We'll do a treatment. Uh, any resurfaces between services are included in your, uh, your subscription plan. So give us a call and we'll take care of you. All right, sounds good to me. The more we are talking, the more I'm questioning everything in my own home. I'm like, are there creepy crawlies like in my bed? It's just you imagine them on everything now. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. So call Home Shield. They'll take care of everything for you. That way you can sleep a little bit easier at night. Sacra, thank, thank you, Sacra. I was eating my lunch, but um... <laughs> just put it on back.